Hey everyone, it's Father Ryan. Hope this finds you well. Before we begin, I want to introduce you to my new friend, Beckett. Beckett is my new puppy. He's three months old. He's been here for about a month now. And he is uh, adorable and learning not to bite and very happy to be out on the deck on this beautiful uh, March day that's starting to feel a lot like spring. So I wanted him to come say hi to you before we begin. But I also wanted to talk about Beckett because I thought of him when I was thinking about this week's gospel reading from John chapter three. You may know this verse. It's one of the most famous in the whole Bible. It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son. For God so loved the world. It's got me thinking this week about what love really is. I think sometimes when we talk about love, we think of it as an emotion, something we feel. I feel a lot of love when I see Beckett and his tail wagging when I come home at the end of the day or when he greets me first thing in the morning. I feel the emotion of love. I bet you have felt love for something or someone too, and it's a great thing. But when Jesus talks about love, and particularly about God's love and the love we're meant to show one another too, he's not just talking about an emotion. He's talking about an action. He's talking not just about how we feel, but about what we do. And the truth is, I think you understand this too, because we often do things to show those whom we love that we love them. So I bring Beckett his ball, or I feed him his meals, or I put him on his back and rub his belly, or I take him for a long walk, even when I may not feel like I have enough time to go for a long walk. Those are all ways that I show him that I love him, and he shows me that he loves me by licking me on my face and by that tail wagging. Your parents show they love you by the care they give you, by the loving meals they prepare for you, by the bedtime stories they read you, by hugging you tight. We don't just feel love, we show love. And God is like that too. God doesn't just talk about loving us. God loves us by being with us. God loves us by feeding those who are hungry and healing those who are sick and forgiving those who feel sad and guilty. God loved us most of all in Jesus, living and dying and then rising from the dead to show us that there's no place that God won't go for love of us. So as we turn the corner, we're now over halfway through our Lenten season and as spring is springing all around us and we're getting ready to celebrate Easter. Let's remember not just to feel love, but to do love, to show love. And let's always remember that that's how God is with us and for us, loving us all the way through. Be well, hope you have a great week and talk to you soon. Bye.